everybody, it's Heather from Cottontail Crafts. Um, it's Friday, May 10th, and I am jumping on to show you what I got made this week. Um, I didn't do any filming this week. Um, I do have a market tomorrow, and it's in Lawrencetown. And then Monday, I'm going to spend the day with my dad, and we're going to go out and visit my mother, who is in a nursing home. Um, so, um, I decided to make some more of these little dragons, and these are crochet by Jenna. And I do switch up her pattern a little bit. I do faux fur down the back, and I do not do the bobble stitches. Um, she crochets her wings on, and I sew them on later. Um, this one here, <laughs> it's the first one I made this week. Um, and the eyes are a little small. These are 12 millimeters. So I decided to go up to 14 millimeters on my next dragons and I made five of these this week and they turned out really cute I do like I do like this pattern um, I find it's a lot easier without the bobble stitches and I think like an hour and a half it takes me to make one maybe a little bit quicker um, and I sell these for $28 so the second one I made, um, I upped the eyes to 14 millimeters, and <clears throat> I kind of got his eyes a little close together on this one, so he looks like a little like scared or startled. <laughs> um, he's still cute. Um, kids don't care. Kids are not going to notice that at all. Um, so the first one I did in light blue and cornflower with white accents. This one, I think it's pink lemonade. And, oh, I can't remember what dark pink that is. But I like to do a little bit darker shade on the wings than the body. And... This is just eyelash yarn. I mix one strand of it with Parfait Chunky. And that's what I use for the faux fur. Um, the next one I did was Mint and Emerald. And I did Green Eyes on him. Like, they're really cute. I do like them. Um... I probably would have got more made this week, um, but sometimes work and life just gets in the way. I have done this color before. This is rain and gray wings with white accents, and I did silver eyes on him. And I sold this one a couple weeks ago, so I decided to redo the colors on this one. So cute. And then the last one I did was um, cream with gray wings and red accents. And I have not used cream before. I ordered cream in my last uh, Parfait Chunky order. And I think he turned out really cute. So I think the only, I have white eyelash yarn, red eyelash yarn, and green. So I'll have to make another one using the green eyelash yarn. But these are really cute and really easy. Um, and like I said, I made two and have sold, no, I made three and have sold two, so I wanted to make some more. So I got five more dragons done. And then the next thing I made this week um, was a pattern test. And I have tested for her before. Um, Mr. Conan in the background um, was designed by Snuggle Beans Crochet, who is Shannon. And I pattern tested the smaller version of 
this dragon. Um, so she came up with a unicorn pattern. So I made a unicorn. And I love how she turned out. Um, I kind of want to keep her, but I can't keep, I can't keep them all. Um, I had no struggles with this pattern whatsoever. Um, my only struggle with was the options. Um, do I make it just a horse? Do I make it a unicorn? Do I make it a Pegasus? Um, so I had made the head, the body, and the legs, and assembled. And then it took me forever to decide like what options to do. So I decided to make a Pegasus unicorn. So I did like all the options that were available. Okay, she turned out really cute. I'm so happy. I'm so happy how she turned out. So I did white parfait chunky for the body. I did peach for the feet. And then I did peach on the inside of her ears. Um, and I picked the peach because last week, me and my friend, we went to Halifax Vinyl and I got this really pretty chunky, it's called Creamsicle. Um, so I kind of picked the colors based off this um, glitter and then I also had this glitter from Michaels. So I did peach on the top half of her eyes and then I did a chunky gray glitter on the bottom of her eyes. So I made the eyes first and then I picked the colors for her. And I seen some of the pictures that were coming in from the group chat and it does have faux fur in the pattern and the only faux fur that I really had was the eyelash yarn which is very very thin and I have to mix it with like parfait chunky to get that effect so I had to run to Michaels and get some faux fur because I wanted my unicorn to have this pretty foot accents so I went to Michaels I bought gray I bought brown and I bought light pink. So after I made the eyes, I decided she was going to be white. And then I did peach for the feet and the ears. Um, and I assembled. I assembled everything. And then I was like, do I do a unicorn? I don't know. Do I do just a pegasus? I don't know. That That's what took me so long. I just couldn't decide on what options. So I made the horn and I made the wings and then I sewed those on. Well then I came to the mane and I'm like do I crochet and sew on the mane or do I do the faux fur? And I decided on the faux fur because I wanted to tie in the faux fur that's on her feet. And she is absolutely gorgeous and it's so soft like I'm surprised that um, it took me so long to figure out what to do but um, like the smaller version of the dragon probably took me about five hours and because I used the faux fur for the mane and the tail, I didn't have to crochet the mane and then sew it on, which probably saved me quite a bit of time. Um, so I think I'm going to price her at $70. I think I'm happy with that price. Um, I, like I said, I didn't time it, but she was quicker than the, the smaller dragon. Um, so I, I think 70 is a fair price for her. She's quite, she's quite big. And I will show you footage of her on my display. I'll put her on the very top of my display. And 
film a little bit of that tomorrow. But she's so cute. I did film the eyes, so I will have that video for you in a couple of days. Um, she's going to release this pattern on May 16th, I think, is her target date. Now, if all the testers get done, she might get it released a little bit earlier. Um, but I will put her Etsy shop in the description below. Um, Shannon, thank you so much for letting me test her. I had so much fun. Um, I do want to make more, but I'm going to wait until she sells before I make another one. Um, only because the larger stuff doesn't sell as, as good. Um, but I, I would make two, three, four of these, no problem. Um, she, she was very easy to do. Um, if you have her dragon pattern, you will have no problem with this. There's a lot of, uh, similar, like similarities to it. But look at her wings. I decided to do black glitter to tie in the uh, black pupils. But isn't she gorgeous? I love her. I love her. She's so adorable. So Sue and Robin are both pattern testing. I've seen pictures of their unicorns and they are stunning. I will link their YouTube channels in the description below so you can go check out their unicorns. Um, you may already follow them and you'll see when they upload their videos. So yeah, she's so cute. I love her. So we'll see if she sells tomorrow at my market. So um, I'm probably going to make some small octopuses tonight in the size 7 yarn. Um, because I sold some of those last week or last market. So I'm kind of getting sort of low on those. So I will be back with some octopuses and then I will have market footage and then I will have market results. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back and I got some octopuses done last night. Um, today's market day. <clears throat> I got all my little dragons priced. I got my unicorn priced. I put 70 on it. But last night I wanted to pump out some more of the octopuses in the XL yarn. Now I have Wildflower and I have Hummingbird. And I have never ordered the Parfait XL before. I've only ordered the two colors. And I think the next time I put in the yarn order I'm going to order more because I really, really, really like these colors. <clears throat> Michael's, eh, Michael's is boring. They haven't gotten anything new in a while. So I pumped out four of each color. And I did um, different color dyes. This one I did rainbow. This one I did a pink. This one I did blue. And this one I did purple. They're so cute. Um, this is all from Jade. This is uh, one of her babies. Um, that go inside the mother octopus. It's a free tutorial on YouTube, so I will link it in the description below. They're so adorable. They're so fast. Um, and I charge $10 for these. So this is where I make my money on these little critters here. You might not be able to get 10 where you are, but um, if they didn't sell well, I would lower them to 8, but for now, I'm just going to keep them at 10. So now we got to walk the dog, I'm going to go get Timmy's, pack up my car, and then the next thing you'll see is a little bit of market footage, and then I will be back with market results. So we will talk to you in a bit.
everybody. Um, I just got back from my market. Um, I was in Lawrencetown today. Um, it was so slow. It was so slow. Um, I did get a couple of sales. Um, I think a lot of them were like vendors kids. <laughs> um, oh, hi, baby. Mommy's trying to do a video. Mommy's trying to do a video. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I mostly sold little stuff. Um, so I sold five, no, I sold three $5 stingrays for $15. One mini turtle for $6. $8 whale and a $10 whale for $18. One small octopus for $5. Two mini mushy boys for eight dollars each for sixteen dollars. I sold two jelly bean bunnies. Finally, um, I actually sold three. Two were the ten dollar bunnies, and one was the twenty dollar bunny that I had made out of the XL yarn. So it was quite a bit bigger. So I did forty dollars in jelly bean bunnies. I sold two fifteen dollar axolotls. Um, they were the Crochet by Jenna's Axolotls. I sold three $10 mini birds for $30. So I'm gonna have to make some more mini birds, the chickens, because it's mostly chickens that sell in the mini birds. And then finally, I sold one poop bag dispenser for $18. So I had a total of $178. My table fee was $40. My square fees were 22 cents. I did 20 in square and 158 in cash. So after my fees, I made $137.78. I will take it because it was very, very slow. Uh, I was chatting with Robin. Um, she was at her market and she was saying how slow her market was. And she sent me a little video of how slow her market was so I sent her a little video of how slow my market was <laughs> and she's like I think we're at the same market <laughs> oh you gotta laugh what else can you do I mean I'm always happy to walk away with a hundred dollars um, I need to start saving for my New Brunswick market which is in August because there's hotel fees involved, there's food, gas, um, I'm finally going to be in the Joann's and a Hobby Lobby's because we're taking one day and we're going to go to the States. So I'm super excited about that. Um, yeah, so that's what I did. It was really slow. Um, I'll probably work on my video, getting that edited and uploaded for tomorrow so whatever I make tonight I will just add on to next week's video so that will be it for this week and I'll be back next week with what I make I'll be back next week with what I made this upcoming week you coming up hmm Milo I didn't cheat on you there was no dogs there no, I didn't cheat on you. I was a good girl. <laughs> I was a good girl. Yeah, I didn't see no puppies. No puppies. You think? You think? Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Did you miss me? Did you miss mommy? Yeah. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we will see you soon. Bye. Milo. You gonna say hi to all the people who follow mommy? Yeah? He's a good boy? You think? He's a pretty good boy? Huh? Milo. Milo. Come on. You're crazy. You're crazy. Puppy want a treat? Puppy want a treat? You want a treat? I give you a treat.
treat. Let's go get treat. Let's go get treat. <laughs>